Hey YouTube, another video and today I'm going to show you how to add binary values together. First of all, let's look at what we have on the breadboard here. We have two separate circuits. Here we have a single bit full adder. That means that it can add two um, values each uh, of a single bit and it will produce the sum and the carry on. And here we have a circuit <coughs> of a 4-bit full adder. That means that we can add two values, each 4-bit uh, length. And um, we're going to talk about this a bit later. First, let's look at this full adder here. It's made uh, entirely from logic gates. So you can see we have two exclusive OR gates, two AND gates, and another OR gate here. These are all um, quad 2 input chips, so that means that if we replicate this circuit on these exact chips only four times we will get this 4-bit um, uh, adder here with, with the ability to add values of 4-bit long but um, the way uh, that the full adder works is um, what it does it will take two inputs A and B and it will add them together and it will produce the sum now to understand uh, how exactly it works um, I'm going to show you a bit of arithmetic here. If you want to learn more in depth into uh, adding binary values and such, then um, you need to search Wikipedia or just um, look online for more uh, informative uh, text. But in this um, video, just to make uh, the point of the video, I'm going to explain this shortly um, with this explanation and I hope that it won't be too long. So. To understand how this adder actually adds two binary values together, first let's look at some decimal adding. Uh, that is that what we do every day. And for example, if I want to add 18 and 15 together, I will take the 8 and add 5, and that is 13, so I will write a 3. And I will have a carry-on of 1, and then 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3, and that gives us 33, and that is the sum of 18 plus 15. Binary adding works the same way, only instead of using a 10 uh, base sy number system from 0 to 9, we only have two numbers, 0 to 1. And we're using them um, to add the values together. So um, here I have two um, numbers. I have a 1 and a 3 and I want to add them together. To those of you who are not that familiar with the, the binary representation of numbers, I've made here a short list from 0 to 5, and you can see exactly uh, how it looks like in binary. So we have a 1, and we have a 3, and we're going to add them together. So 1 plus 1 equals 2, and 2 is 0 and 1. So we get a 0 on the sum of 1 plus 1, and we carry on a 1. Then 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 1 is again 2, so 0 and 1. And we set a 0, and we carry on again a 1. And then 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, and we get the value of 4. So 1 plus 3 equals 4. Now, <clears throat> this full adder here works on a single bit. So we have A, and we have B, and each will provide a single bit input and we will get the result of the sum and if there is a carry on or not. And the way we do that is we look at this truth table here of we're trying to get all the possible uh, correct results from adding um, two values together and cover them in this full adder. And the way we do that is that we can say that a and B could be uh, 0 plus 0, so we have 0 plus 0, and the result will be 0 on the sum and 0 on the carry-on. It could be that A is 0 and B is 1, so we get a 0 plus 1 is 1, and we get a 1 on the sum and 0 on the carry-on. And that goes the same if A is 1 and B is 0. <clears throat> so again we get a 1 and if A is 1 and B is 1 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so we get a 0 on the sum and 1 on the carry-on these are four options that could come up um, 
in the adder and it will provide solutions for them but we also want to cover a situation where um, we get a carry-on and that means that right now we've treated the adder as if we are adding only the first bit the most right hand one so the carry-on will also always be a zero and right now the carry-on is always a zero but if we want our adder to also be capable of receiving a carry-on from the previous bit then we need to have the capability of also calculating these uh, situations with a carry-on coming from the previous bit. So I'm going to set my carry-on to high. So already you can see that once my carry-on is high 1 plus 0 plus 0 immediately gives 1 on the sum and 0 on the carry-on. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 2 so we get a 2, 0 on the sum and 1 on the carry-on and again 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 2 and 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3 so we get 1 on the sum and 1 on the carry-on and we get the value of 3 now it's important to understand this because <coughs> here we have a 4-bit um, full adder what that pretty much means is that this circuit not this specific one but a similar one is replicated four times where the carry-on from um, each uh, bit goes into the carry-on of the previous bit so this is uh, what happens in this circuit here so here we have our full adder which is these uh, five gates and the carry-on goes from one adder to another and that's the way that we also add our binary values why we are using these gates here two uh, exclusive ORs, two ANDs and an OR you can see in the results that we get these patterns so we have here a XOR gate and here we have an AND gate and an OR gate and here we have an exclusive NOR so that is basically two XORs gate and you can see that they are inverted so here this is an inversion of this and this is an inversion of this and that is why we are using two XOR gates two AND gates for the carry-on and an OR gate as well and that allows us to produce all the true results of adding two single bit values together and also uh, providing carry-on output to the next bit and taking carry-on input from the previous bit and once we add them together like here we get these 4-bit counters in this case it's an LS83 um, and here for example I can set A to 1 and B is just 0 so we get a 1 and if A is 1 and B is 1 then we get 2 so that's the same thing that you saw here but this is this is not the carry-on this is actually the bit that is fed with the carry-on input and if we go for larger numbers so for example if I want to add 15 plus 1 we get 16 so 15 and once it goes to the next count so it will zero up again it goes to 16 and if I want to add 15 plus 15 then we get 16 plus 14 which is 30 so 15 plus 15 is 30 and here you can see that 16 plus 14 this one is still not on so it's not 15 it's 14 is 30 that's it I hope you like this video and if you like my videos please consider subscribing to the channel and um, if you have any questions then feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to provide you with an answer thank you for watching and I'll see you next time